Thousands of people looking for work across the Carolinas. Tonight, there's good news for at least one community. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Copeland. And I'm Bobby Sisk. Shocking new numbers out today show more than 500,000 jobs were eliminated in the last month nationwide, many of those in the Carolinas. But tonight, there's a glimmer of hope in an area hard hit by layoffs. News Channel 36 reporter Maria Catula is live now with what she's learned about jobs coming to the area. Maria. Well, Bobby, Lancaster County is trying to make the transition from the land of textile mills to the land of call service centers. Titanium Holdings is already moving to the second floor of that building you see behind me there. It is the HSBC Mortgage Building, the former HSBC Mortgage Building, and there's definitely irony in that. We used to do the subprime mortgages in that building, and now we're doing the counseling. You're looking at the new Indian Land headquarters for Titanium Holdings. Uh, they do mortgage counseling. Eventually be 300 jobs, uh, all call center employees and supervisory positions. As Lancaster's unemployment rate hits 12.1 percent, the big question, will Titanium bring in their own or hire Lancaster's jobless? 98 percent of the jobs will be brand new local job. It could be a perfect fit for displaced mill workers. The last two Springs mills stopped making sheets and towels last year and hundreds of those layoffs were in customer service. So somewhere out there is 650 former trained call center folks. And when will the hiring start? Almost immediately. It's going to pick up the whole area. That's great news down the road for diner owner Diane Price. And we used to have a lot of regulars uh -huh. and they've kind of faded out because I guess because of jobs, I don't know. She hopes to be cooking for a bigger lunch crowd. Because they like good country cooked food. County leaders say other call centers are in the works, all with full-time salaries and benefits. You know, 9 to 15 to 16 dollars an hour. We could conceivably uh, take care of 1,000 to 1,500 call center employees. Now, for anyone interested, they're taking applications at the One Stop Employment Office in Lancaster and also Lancaster County, USC, and York Tech are all joining forces together to try to start up a training facility for call center employees. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom in Lancaster County, Maria Catula, News Channel 36. All right.